Did you know if Jane Goodall worked with animals? She, she lived with chimpanzees and she made books about she found. I was watching Slack. Goodall began to travel the world. Jane Goodall was born in England. In 1934, as a, as a child, she liked to learn about animals and watch how they behave. At age 18, she graduated from high school and became a secretary. At age 18, Jane graduated from high school and becomes a secretary. By 1957, Jane has saved enough money to take a trip to Kenya and Eastern Africa. Guru was 26 years old in 1960. That year, she, she went to the conference in Tanzania, Africa, where the chimpanzee lived. John, John, Jane Guru once left behind everything she knew to love and more and learn about another chimpanzee. Did you know that Jane Goodall lived in the forest with chimpanzees to study them? In this speech, I am going to tell you about Jane Goodall. When she was little, she loved animals, so she had a dream about moving to Africa. And she grew up and became a secretary, and the scientists were looking for someone to go out into the forest and study chimpanzees. But, but the scientists said, you have to move to Africa and live with chimpanzees. So she took the job and packed her things and flew to Africa. And at the first, the chimps were scared of her. Her, and then she put a banana under her shirt to let the chimps find it and gain the chimps' trust. So then she was reporting the, the new things she learned, so that's why she, beca she, she became a scientist to report the new things about chimpanzees. She, she also seen a chimp, chimp poke, a whole, a, poke a stick down in a termite hole and got a termite and ate it and Jane it and Jane Goodall said that's a tool to help them eat. Goodall seen people cutting down trees and she seen them had guns and shooting their mothers with tranquilizer tranquilizer darts and take their babies and selling them for money, food, circuses and pets and used for lab experiments. So then she moved back and looking for people to help save the chimpanzees. The chimpanzees would want wanted them to help. So she found some people to help save these chimpanzees. So when she found the people to help, they were trying to protect the forest because their habitat, their lives was there. So they helped save the forest and save the chimpanzees. Did you know that Jane Goodall moved to the forest to study chimpanzees? In my speech, I'm gonna tell you how about, tell you about Jane Goodall and how she impacted history. When Jane Goodall was little, she liked to play with animal toys and she liked to read about animals in books. Then when Jean Goodall grew up, a scientist asked her to go and live in the forest to study chimpanzees. She gave the world ideas about chimpanzees. So people started to kill chimpanzees for food and do experiments on them. Jean Goodall started to go around the world and give speeches about saving the chimpanzees. When she got the people to stop killing the chimpanzees, 
he started to leave in the chimpanzee started to live in peace and good old kept coming back and checking on the chimps and see how they were and how they rebuilt their home and how they got their food and ate it. Did you know Jane Goodall lived in the forest with chimpanzees? Jane Goodall impacted her history because she was able to get the chimpanzees to trust her and she lived with them almost her whole life. She was able to get good facts about what they do. Jane Goodall was a scientist. She studied chimps and what you can do to gain their trust. She put a banana up her shirt and wanted to see if the chimps would take it from her shrimp, and she did. She was able to get the chimps to take her to their home place in the forest. She learned from the beginning and the end. She was able to see what happens to chimpanzees when they are being held in zoos and being shot at. It was hard to watch. Jane Goodall was someone who cares so much about chimpanzees. She wrote books and she was able to save up a, a lot of money to get to Africa and live with the chimps. She lived with the chimps for almost her whole life just to get information and facts to tell people what chimpanzees really are and what happens to them. Jane Goodall. Do you know that Jane Goodall spent almost half of her life living with the chimps? In this speech, I will talk about how Jane Goodall had a great impact on women's history. Jane Goodall was a secretary and lived with her dog after she gradu graduated from high school. She wanted to get save up to go to Africa and across eastern Kenya. When she saved up enough money to go to Kenya within months, she get, met a guy named Dr. Louis Leakey. He was a scientist. He was studying chimps and how humans were alike and different. Dr. Leakey needed an assistant to live with the forest, live in the forest and study chimps in Africa. She knew it was the job for her. Jane had no scientific training. She still hired her. When she moved to the middle of the forest, the first couple days on the job were hard, hard for her because imagine if you moved away from your friends and family almost half of your life because because you wanted to study chimps. Jane did it for the good. She discovered that chimpanzees have intelligence and how feelings and that you could earn their trust and she she made scien scientists reconsider chimpanzee and how they can relate to humans. She watched the chimps all day and every day. She moved when she was 26 years old in 1960. One day, they gained their trust. In the meantime, she hid a banana under her shirt and let a chimp find it. And it worked. The chimp had all of her trust. And that is my story about Jane Goodall. To sum it up, her discovery discoveries. And that is my story about Jane Goodall to sum it up her discoveries are are so awesome so do you think jane goodall was a great woman of history and worth a speech did you know that jane goodall lived with chimpanzees jane goodall loved animals forever her dreams were to move to africa and to move with chimpanzees she graduated from high school
she graduated from high school, and then she came the second secretary, so she can get money to move to Africa. She she quit the job when she had enough money to move to Africa. Then she got hired by a scientist. A scientist said, "Can you move with Japan?" She said. Yes, please, because it was a dream come true to her. So she, so she pulled a, a apple under her shirt when she got there and see if the chimpanzees could trust her. Then the chimpanzees trusted her, and then she became a part of the group. She lived there for half of her life, and she. She lived there for half her life because she loved chimpanzees. She always gave important facts to the world. She always loved animals to, and she always would buy an animal if they needed care. So one, one morning she comes out comes out and watches the chimpanzees to two to four hours. Background of Jane Goodall. Jane Goodall was born in 1934. She was born in England. She, as she was a little kid, Jane Goodall loved animals forever.